What's going on, YouTube? Following an extended reign in just the Japanese market, the Crown flagship has made it to the US. And this vehicle certainly has gotten a lot of attention over the last year. So with this Crown flagship, is this a Lexus for less? And what's new for 2024? Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so like always, let's get things started here under the hood for our spec dump. Now the Crown is one of Toyota's hybrid exclusive models, but it does come with two different hybrid systems. You have a standard hybrid model and you also have this right here, the hybrid max. This is gonna be substantially more powerful. So you're gonna have 340 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque coming from a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a rear E axle and front electric motor. Now, as far as your transmissions are concerned, that once again depends on which hybrid system you use. It's either an eCVT or a six-speed automatic. All-wheel drive is standard equipment, and as far as fuel economy is concerned, it either comes in at 30 or 41 MPG combined. Now, of course, later on in this review, we can't wait to show you the performance of this model out on the street. When we do that, we're going to get things like our signature sound level reading so that you can compare to the competition. But first, let's go ahead and close up the hood and take a look at the unique exterior. Now I just called the exterior of this unique and that is honestly maybe even an understatement. This really does not look like anything else on the road and you can tell that just as soon as you walk up to the vehicle. The main two things that are going to draw attention to that are the ground clearance. So we have 5.8 inches of ground clearance. So you'll notice that that is not your typical sedan but it's also not your typical crossover. It's kind of somewhere in between the two. We also, since we have the platinum trim level, have the bi-tone finish. So in addition to having the really cool copper paint, we also have a substantial amount of the front design finished in a full gloss black. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the rear as well, where it's really, really visible. Now in terms of your grill, it's gonna be occupying a large section of the front end. You also do have a light bar that's gonna run across the center section and go into our headlights, where you will find standard LED headlights and the multi-beam projector LED headlights on the Limited and the Platinum grades. Now as we head around to the rear design, this is where you really start to see that two-tone paint finish <laughs> kick in because it's very much represented here in the rear design. Yeah, it is a very, very wild looking. A lot of people are probably gonna be asking if you have like a two-tone Rolls Royce or something, cause it's really crazy looking. Now, Drew, I'm gonna have you go ahead and hop back inside so we can check out the taillights because that's another element that's obviously very distinct for this crown model. We have full length taillights. And as far as the LED componentry, we do have an LED brake light, LED turn signal, and then we also have an LED reverse light down here. So all three of our elements elements are LED on this crown, which I'm certainly very happy about. We have crown spat out across the back and then dropping down to this lower area, even though we have the very powerful hybrid max version, we're not going to have exposed exhaust outlets because that's not available on any crown model. Now, when it comes to wheels, the crown starts out where most sedans finish with 19 inch alloy wheels. However, if you choose the limited with an optional package or this platinum, you get 21 inch alloy wheels guys these are absolutely huge wheels they look great uh, with the overall design of this model and i love the contrast finish with the gloss black in the center now you do actually have some um, matte black plastic as far as cladding around the wheel arches and then if you come up here to the mirrors you have a gloss black finish up here we're also going to have blind spot monitoring heating and power folding now here at the side, you're going to actually notice that this is a pretty substantially long 
sedan. It's coming in at 196.1 inches in overall length. And as far as the overall height, you also notice a little bit taller than most sedans. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's about four inches taller in overall height than a Toyota Camry. Now, I do also want to talk about your safety systems because this is an area where we see some 2024 improvements. Now, Toyota is always going to give you all four of your active safety features as standard equipment on every single Crown model. However, if you choose the Platinum trim level, you will now have new features such as a traffic jam assist, lane change alert, as well as front cross traffic alert for 2024. Well guys, that's going to wrap up the exterior design of this bold Toyota Crown. Let's check out the inside and see the updates in there. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our car confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the interior. First, of course, we'll take a look at the key fob. Uh, we do have the typical Toyota smart entry system standard on all trim levels. You also have Toyota Crown branding in the back of the fob. And the platinum trim level comes standard with Toyota's digital key system so that you can use your phone as a key. Now to get inside, just reach behind the handle. That will unlock the door and fold the mirrors out. Now, at first glance inside of the interior, this was one of the first models to kind of introduce a new Toyota design language that we've since seen proliferate through a lot of the new interiors like the upcoming Camry. But let's start off by talking about our seating uh, materials as well as our color selection. So the XLE is going to come standard with soft tex, leatherette, and cloth. But if you choose either the limited or the platinum, that's going to get you the real leather you, you see here right now in your choice of black, black and brown, or a macadamia color option. This is the black, and as you can see, it does have some nice stitching details that run through the shoulder area, as well as perforation through the center. As far as the seats themselves, they will be eight-way power adjusting on all trim levels. And you do also have memory seating built into the door trim as well. But let's go ahead and climb inside. Now that we're fully inside, we can talk about our overall cabin materials. Now, there actually are some changes in this area for 2024. So first of all, Toyota said that they updated soft touch materials inside the cabin. So I honestly can't tell you exactly what it is in here, but something in here is soft that used to be hard. Like I said, I don't know exactly which, which item in here it is, but they've just improved the quality a little bit in terms of that. They've also added additional warm steel accents so you'll see that as we kind of pass through uh, these materials, starting with our door trim. Nice finish over here. It's going to be soft right there and soft in the center as well as along the top. Again, you've got the accenting that's running all through here. This is going to be soft along the upper dashboard. You also have soft materials running through here and along the side. And it is going to be padded along the side of the console for your knee to rest against. Now we'll go ahead and fire it up with the standard push button start. Now it's time to get into the individual features. First of all, we'll start off with our gauge cluster. As you can see, this is a 12.3 inch full digital cluster. This is what is going to be included as standard actually on all three trim levels of this crown. But one thing you will notice is that you don't have a head up display even on the platinum trim. Now as we pull back, we do have rain sensing wipers that's included on the limited and the platinum. And as far as our steering wheel, you've got a nice leather wrap steering wheel. It is going to be heated on this model and manual tilt and telescoping across the lineup. Now I said that, you know, a lot of things inside of this cabin might compare favorably to a Lexus. And one of those Lexus inspired things is our console here. So as we get into storage, you'll notice that just like many Lexus products, it does actually open from both sides. And once we get that open, you'll see that this center console contains nine donuts because this is car confections. We like to see how many donuts fit into this console. Nine is pretty good for a sedan. And then in terms of other storage options, we have two cup holders, a storage slot right there, USB-C connections. And then right up here, instead of a traditional kind of console slot, we instead have this uh, vertical area where you can slide your phone for wireless charging. Now, as we pull back to the shifter, this is another thing that's 
shared with a lot of Lexus products, the electronic shifter, pull back for drive, go to the left and press forward for reverse. When you go into reverse, you're going to see this 360 degree camera system pop up. This is going to be included on just the platinum trim level or you can get it in the limited with the advanced technology package. And then just press the P there for park. Behind that you have your brake hold and your electronic parking brake as well as your drive mode controller. Now moving above that to our climate controls, dual zone climate is going to be included on all trim levels of the Crown. Nice physical controls on board. By the way, this is where the heated steering wheel is since it kind of hides compared to other Toyota products. Over here, you have your three-stage heated seats as well as your three-stage ventilated seats. And you'll be surprised to learn that ventilated seats are included on the limited trim level and above. Heated seats standard on all trim levels. And then above, you do have the volume knob for your audio system. Both limited and platinum will come with an 11-speaker JBL sound system. And we'll go ahead and give that a sample right now. Overall sound quality is pretty good, but we are kind of comparing to say something like a Lexus ES. So I will point out that compared to that with a Mark Levinson, this is not going to be quite as good. Now, returning our attention back over here to our infotainment screen, we have the 12.3 inch display. This is also standard on all trim levels, and this is running Toyota's newest uh, multimedia interface. That means you do have navigation uh, into the system once you get it set up. You do also have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay abilities. Up top here, we have an auto dimming mirror with your three Homelink Universal remotes built into it. And then taking a look up here at the glass. Both the Limited and the Platinum trim levels will come with this panoramic sunroof. The thing you need to keep in mind, though, is the fact that this is actually a fixed glass roof, so the front portion does not open up. Now, as you might expect for a large flagship sedan, you do have a lot of space here in the second row. Now, as far as the overall legroom figures, uh, Toyota is saying you have 39 inches of legroom, about 38 inches of headroom. The headroom certainly is pretty good, especially for an average size adult, and the legroom is very impressive. Now, I'm five foot nine. The seat is adjusted to Drew, who is five foot eight, and we do bring our ruler uh, in all of our car confections reviews to get you that knee figure. And we're sitting at about 10 inches of knee space uh, with the seat adjusted to someone who is five foot eight. Now, as far as other things I want to mention, here in the center, we do have quite a few features. You're gonna have standard vents. You're also gonna have standard USB-C ports for charging devices. And we're gonna have, uh, if you look on the door trim, heated rear seats. That's going to be a feature that's standard on limited and platinum grade. So I do like that they're giving you the heated rear seats. It's certainly very useful if you live in colder climates like uh, what we're in right now. And as far as other things, I don't know if this is a new feature for 2024, but I don't remember it in the previous review, but we actually have a wing style headrest, which I quite like. It's way more comfortable than you might expect. As far as here in the center, we can drop down this area and pop out two cup holders inside of the armrest. And then as far as other things on the door trim, we do have a nice soft touch material on the upper part, leatherette through all of the center section. And we do have some bottle storage down in the very bottom. And walking up to the cargo area, you might be curious, this is kind of like a sedan that's kind of like an SUV. What's this area going to look like? And let's go ahead and check it out. So in order to get back here, you have to find the mysterious button that you will never be able to see with your own eyeballs. It's located right there uh, to pop open the trunk. Now, once you do, you have 15.2 cubic feet of maximum cargo capacity. This is a traditional kind of sedan-like figure. It's very similar to that of the Toyota Camry for reference. And as far as the overall area, it looks quite uh, large for a sedan. You have quite a good width as well as quite a good depth. Now, I want to point out the seats do fold 60-40 split. And speaking of that depth, here at Car Confections, we do want to provide you all those measures just in case you're hauling things in even a sedan like this. And we're sitting at about 47 inches of overall cargo length for this Crown model. Now, do keep in mind those seats do fold 60-40 split. As far as the cargo opening, 
we are sitting at about 39 inches wide. Well guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Toyota Crown. In this test drive, we're gonna be talking about quite a few different things, including what you see on the screen right now, as well as getting our signature sound level reading. But first, we wanna go ahead and start with a hard acceleration and show you what this hybrid Max system is all about. And 60 miles an hour, yeah. just like that. <laughs> yeah, That's one of the really things good. that this is about is speed. This is certainly a lot faster than the standard model, and this is really a very powerful powertrain to put in a sedan. So, uh, what this is, just to remind you guys from the spec dump, is the hybrid max powertrain, exclusive to the platinum trim level of this Crown sedan. 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine paired with a front electric motor, a rear E axle, and all that together makes 340 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque, which is something you certainly feel as soon as you put your foot down. Yeah, I mean, when you do put that foot down, I mean, the push back in your seat is really quite impressive. You wouldn't expect that. You know, throughout this video, we've been talking about, you know, should you maybe buy this instead of a Lexus? And when you compare it to something like a Lexus ES, this is actually going to be a lot faster than that model, um, even with an ES350 with a V6. Right, because so, that model is not offering a powertrain like this. But speaking of Lexus, this is shared with the RX 500H performance model. So that gives you a picture of just how much power you have on demand. <laughs> now, one of the other things you'll notice about this is that it does not have a CVT or an eCVT like a traditional Toyota hybrid system. This actually comes with a six speed automatic transmission. That gives you that nice conventional feel. And in terms of the overall performance of this, it's really quite nice. Um, this, like we mentioned, is very torque rich, so you don't need a lot of gears. You can put your foot down. You get a lot of acceleration very quickly um, between all the different components working together very well. Yeah, now it is worth noting, so we are talking about the hybrid max system that is on the platinum trim level. There is the other two trim levels, the XLE and Limited models, and those are going to come with an entirely different powertrain setup. So that's instead coming with a 2.5 liter four cylinder, two electric motor motors for an overall horsepower rating of 236 horsepower and an overall zero to 60 of around 7.6 seconds. Now this model, it's zero to 60 is about 5.7 seconds. So this is quite a bit faster, quite a bit more horsepower. Um, a lot more performance if you choose this platinum model is kind of the summary of the different powertrain options now it's also worth noting if you go for those two basic more basic trim levels the xle or limited you will get an ecvt as your transmission instead of the six-speed automatic so if you're a person that really likes the uh, traditional uh, automatic transmission setup you will have to choose this platinum trim level or you will otherwise have a cbt however all of the crown models will come standard with all wheel drive. So to summarize that up, basically the XLE and the Limited have the traditional Toyota hybrid system where this has the new powerful hybrid system shared with the Lexus brand. All right, and getting back up to speed there, I do want to go ahead and get our sound level reading going 55 miles per hour since we're on our designated strip of road. Fifty three point five decibels is where we have settled in and I have to say just sitting here sitting in the crown This does sound like a absolutely serenely quiet environment This sounds like I'm sitting in a Lexus But I don't have to sit here and guess because I can actually go to carconfections.com and on our website uh, We have a sound level readings page where we've posted all of the cars that we reviewed and their sound level readings So you can tell which ones are the quietest vehicles that you you can buy and we can compare to some of those rivals 
Now, in this segment, we don't have a ton of competition, but this crown is the quietest. <laughs> um, it does beat out the Dodge Charger for a full-size uh, sedan. So, certainly a very good, quiet cabin, and if you're comparing it to a Lexus, I think you're going to be pretty pleasantly surprised. Now, also something that compares very nicely to a Lexus is your suspension setup. So, here with the Platinum model, you get adaptive dampers as standard equipment, and that does mean that the ride quality is quite nice. Now, just kind of cruising along here, there have been quite a few bumps on our drive so far. We're about to go over a bridge, and it the Crown just handles it really, really well. You can feel maybe a slight intrusion, but it really does all of, it takes out all the harshness going on. The seat's very comfortable. I mean, overall, you would think for something with a 21-inch alloy wheel, it would not have very good ride quality, but you would be indeed wrong. Yeah, I'm seriously impressed by that aspect of it. Now, this does have an exclusive drive mode called Sport Plus Mode, and because you have adaptive dampers, it does adjust those as well when you go into this mode. <laughs> to make you feel even quicker on your feet, you have um, enhanced throttle response as well. And we're getting ready to go around a corner. We'll see how it handles, again, like I said, in Sport Plus mode. Now, I wouldn't say that Sport is the focus of this no. model. Um, obviously, as we discussed, it is a higher profile sedan. So because of that, you are going to have a little bit more body roll than a more traditional sedan. Okay, but I do have to say the adaptive dampers firming up does help quite a bit. We went around a couple corners earlier off camera. Um, switching into this drive mode does make it feel a lot more sure of itself and sure-footed as we go around the corners. Okay, so wrapping things up with some practical elements, let's go ahead and talk about your fuel economy. Now, I mentioned this at the spec dump, but you have two different fuel economies. So if you choose the XLE or limited trim levels, you're coming in at 41 miles per gallon. Very impressive fuel economy, guys. That is such a good uh, fuel economy figure. Now, if you're going to choose the more powerful setup that we have on the Platinum model here, um, you're still not going to get bad fuel economy. It is going to be worse, though. It's coming in at 30 miles a gallon combined, but quite frankly, Frankly, I think it is super impressive that something with nearly uh, well, 400 pound-feet of torque and nearly 350 horsepower can get 30 mpg and have all-wheel drive. That is very, very impressive. Now, as far as other things that I want to talk about, let's go ahead and hit our air ball and slam dunk. Our favorite element, our least favorite element. Drew, do you want to kick us off with the slam dunk? Yeah, for that, I just want to say that this is a unique model. I think that's really got to be the slam dunk because there's just a lot of vehicles these days that let's just say blend together. As you guys yeah. probably know, there's a lot of models. There's not a lot of distinction between some of these things. And to have something that is truly unique in the marketplace, you know, whether you like it or not, that's up to you. But if you want something like this, this is your only option. <laughs> yeah, it really, really is. Now, as far as the air ball is concerned, um, it is going to be the price. I know we haven't mentioned it yet, but this Platinum model as today, as tested today, is about $56,000, which certainly is encroaching on Lexus territory. So this Crown is not going to be like a super cheap Toyota sedan. Um, it is going to be their flagship sedan, and it is priced accordingly. Now, as far as last things to mention, your warranty is going to be Toyota's signature warranty, which is a three-year, 36,000-mile basic warranty, five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain, and you do also get two years and 25,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. And let's talk pricing. We've been talking throughout this review about this being a Lexus for less. So how much is it going to be less than a Lexus? Well, we're starting at $40,000 for the XLE trim level this year. Limited is going to be $45,650. And Platinum is going to start at $53,070. Now, as far as this uh, particular model, as you can see today, we have the 2024 platinum trim level, <laughs> little typo <laughs> window sticker I'm noticing. And then we have uh, quite a few options on it. Uh, we have the paint charge as well as a few accessories plus a 1,095 destination. We're sitting at 55000 
949 pretty much fully loaded up for this crown model so if you go for a fully loaded version of the crown you're not going to be saving so much money over the lexus however you can of course get the xle or limited trim levels and save quite a lot of money over a lexus and if you're looking to buy a Lexus or this Toyota Crown or any new vehicle, we'd encourage you to go to carconfections.com slash newcarquotes. Now on our website, we have a tool that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. It's also going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to wrap up our in-depth review of the 2024 Toyota Crown Platinum. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help us to make more car reviews like this, as well as other types of content that I'm sure you won't want to miss out on. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a part of our family and a continued fan and subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to us. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.